El futuro es nuestro. A por ello, amigos y amigas. There was a consistent message from the main candidates vying to lead the next Spanish government. All of them, it seems, wanting an end to the political paralysis. The caretaker Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez wrapped up his campaign in Barcelona. I want all of us to be aware of what is at stake. It's a strong government, a progressive government, a moderate government, a progressive government that will stop the far right. Sánchez and his socialist PSOE party are tipped to get the most seats like last time, but it may not be enough. They could have created a coalition even though in Spain there is no tradition of this. But they took this decision to go to election where they thought they would get more votes, be stronger in the negotiations. It's a risky strategy when you have 25 percent of the population who are undecided. It's easy to get wrong. It's the fourth time in four years the Spanish people have been asked to vote in a general election. A poll that came out last week identified unemployment as a prime election issue, along with the economy, public services and also climate change. But what is becoming very clear is that Spain is getting tired of these elections and needs some political stability. The jungle drums indicate a hung parliament and more coalition talks. And Pablo Iglesias of the Unidas Podemos party has said he's still willing to form a centre-left government with the socialists. To be a Spaniard means to defend democracy from the rich ones. To be a Spaniard is to defend the common institutions. There's unlikely to be a grand coalition between the socialists and the conservative Partido Popular, unless their leader, Pablo Casado, changes his mind. But what is concentrating the minds of all concerned is the growth of the far-right Vox Party of Santiago Abascal. They gained 24 seats in April, the first time such a grouping has won seats since the death of General Franco over 40 years ago. It could be pivotal. By Monday, Spain and its election-weary voters will know whether the political process has regained some much-needed stability or remains a political illusion. Francis Collings, TRT World in Barcelona, Spain.